Yo, Philly254 living life. Back at it. Now, for those of us who have MetaQuest 3, this is the video for you. And what we're going to be talking about today is Big Screen. It's an app on MetaQuest 3. It's free. I'm going to tell you off the top. It's, big, it's free. Big Screen Beta. And what this really does is consolidates all of your, a lot, well, not all, a lot of your video media consumption options you know if you as you can see i kind of just loaded into my own little personal room that's what you kind of do you load into your own personal room it doesn't get every single thing doesn't have a netflix doesn't have hulu at least i, I couldn't tell i couldn't tell but it has workarounds for some of those things as well with the little desktop stream mode right whatever but as you can see right here we got youtube right at the top right at the top and that's awesome you know what I'm saying? Now, as you can see, there's a little dashboard. That dashboard is how you kind of go from room to room, app to app, but behind the dashboard, and the dashboard kind of helps you preview what you're watching, by the way, but in the background, there's the full screen mode. This is like being in the movie theater or a huge screen TV or whatever. You know what I'm saying? There goes your, your Amazon Primes or whatnot. Now, the one thing I will say with Amazon Prime, first time I did it, and I haven't done it in a little bit, because I think I watched one of the episodes of the, not the boys, Invincible, and it kind of when is it went logged in as if I'm trying to access ex regular Amazon like I'm trying to order something so I had to go to the video section for that but there's a lot of other things your Disney pluses your twitches it has your options for your local media as you can see right there so if you got something in your local media right now I got thumbnails but if you got something with your local media folder you can play those straight up from from there um, you got your it has its own little I guess free TV basically little channels you know they're based on certain things I'm trying to, you know, this video I recorded before I did the voiceover. I'm trying to find something that, you know, I can play that won't get, it won't mess up my monetization. I just went ahead and decided to roll with what, what I found out. I said, screw it, we're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. Rick and Morty, you know what I'm saying? So, as you can see, the screen automatically dims so you can see everything. You can pull up the little dashboard anytime you want to to kind of either change, I don't want to say change the channels, but I guess you can't say change the channels or change the TV show or go to a different room because you can have multiple rooms, by the way. You know, and there's some some other options, but you got to sign up and choose your pay options. There's like a little store or whatnot, as you can see right there, the little shop. And you unfortunately, well, I won't say unfortunately, you got to get money because the app itself is free. You can buy little extra things, you know, that you can use while in the movies. You can buy extra environments or whatnot. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I haven't purchased any of that. Got all your various options on the left there. As you can see, I was kind of going through it. Um, and then you have your options on the right, lets you know who's in your room, whether it's a private room, you can set up to have your room to be a private room so you can invite your friends, or it's a public room, you can see how many people in the public room. You have all your different things on the left there, it goes to your, your tools and props, it goes to your different environments I told you about. Now the ones with locks on them, obviously, they're locked behind a paywall, you gotta buy them, but you do get some free ones. And as I'm pointing out right here, I'm, I'm switching to another one. I actually don't even like this room that much. I always click on it, but I don't like it that much. Because there's a little Roomba, and that Roomba just messes with me because I don't have one in my house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think right here I'm trying to find something that can just play in the background to kind of demonstrate how it feels. It, it feels like basically you're the big ass living room with a big ass screen TV, big screen TV. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what it feels like. There's little spots on the couch that you can move to, or if you have multiple people in the room, if you're, if you're hosting a party, they can all sit and kind of just watch what they want to watch. But, you know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And then you got your little block users. You can block people if you want to. And then, of course, you have a watch history, you know, so you can see things you watched previously or whatnot. Nothing new there, nothing different. Now, if you look at each particular public channel or whatnot, you can see how many people are already in there. From what I could tell, 15 is a max. It'll let you know how many people of 15 are already in there. So if it's maxed out with 15 of 15, sorry, bro, you're not going to watch that one. At least not that one in the public room. You know what I'm saying? But it's up to you how you want to, you know, what you want to watch. Sometimes you go into a room and nothing's playing. You know, it's like really like the movie, like you missed a TV show. <laughs> so it is what it is. If you got friends, you can, that's how you kind of find your friends and, you know, invite them. You can look, look search for friends. You probably have, or I won't say friends, but people you've seen in other rooms or whatnot. You can invite them to your own personal room. You can host your own little personal room or whatever. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind, if it's something that's being streamed like on, uh, Amazon Prime or um, I don't know well not Twitch but you know what I'm saying Amazon Prime or Disney Plus they also have to have those Disney Plus options as well so they actually have to have have to have an account with those streaming and options in order to partake in the watch party 
They can't come over and watch for free, homie. And you can't go over there and watch for free. You got to have it too. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I'm kind of messing with the little popcorn. And, you know, I think I'm messing with my hand and whatnot. I'm messing with the popcorn and whatnot and different options and different things. And just trying to see, you know, it kind of simulates being in a movie theater real talk. You know, I have, again, I haven't purchased none of this, this other stuff, but I may one day. I don't know. Now, of course, you can click on the avatar option. You can see your avatar. That is a one-for-one -one likeness of me. That is exactly how I look like in real life. Now, once you got your avatar, you can obviously, you can change it as you see fit. As you see, I'm kind of messing with the hair and there's a little mirror there as you can see what you're, what you're doing. You can change things as you see fit, so you can edit it any, at any time. There's no big deal. If you don't like what you got, you can change the clothes. I'm pretty sure in the shop, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure in the shop, you could probably purchase new uh, like a clothing pack or a different shirt, a premium shirt or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's always an option. As you can see, I'm looking at the little options, the settings and whatnot is your basic stuff for your settings. You know, audio, visual options, account information. Um, you can you can choose to mute or mute yourself or mute other people by push button. There's it goes your little social, you can block people, you know, see all this pretty much what you would expect in this kind of situation. And of course, there's your help, you know, whatever, whatever move on past all that move on past all that so we're gonna we're gonna go to the lobby and the whole lobby system is pretty cool it's set up almost like you're walking literally walking into like a movie lobby and there goes somebody right there doing stuff i can tell by the way he's moving he was messing with his dashboard or something you know what i'm saying but it's set up like a movie lobby and the, and the only thing is you can't move smoothly you kind of just jump the place you can kind of see where i'm kind of pulled up my little reticle thing and you can see the little you move to a diamond or the little diamonds or you move to a little square and I think at this point, you can't hear it, but that little dude was, hey, Philly, Philly, Philly to vibe work. And I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm busy. I'm making a video. And then right here, I'm trying to figure out how to, because once you want to go in somewhere, you can kind of just, it pulls up like a ticket, like a movie ticket. And right here at this point, I'm trying to figure out how do I, how do, how do I make it do it? Like, I, there it goes. And I had to figure it out. I think I had to click, I think A on the left was trigger. Don't quote me on that, but it ain't hard to figure it out. And once you do that, door opens up and you can walk on in and do your thing so in oh I, I don't know if you noticed that on the bottom right you can mute yourself too which i was muted now only thing i kind of don't like which i i mean i can't blame them on is it kind of breaks apart as far as whenever you walk into a movie theater it kind of has to load the big screens you know big screen loading screen or whatever and then you just kind of appear in the movie theater and as you saw when i looked around different movie theaters are themed different ways i think this is some kind of sci-fi theater or something I'm, I'm not sure nothing's playing and you can kind of just right now it's empty you know what i'm saying one thing also i want to make sure i know that i think i was having well i was having some issues with this certain things weren't playing that used to play or should play and i one thing i figured out was uh i hadn't updated my big screen uh version yet so i was like one version behind so certain things weren't playing that should be playing so that's that's on me so um which is cool it's cool i think i was trying to figure out how to go back so it would actually play the space uh, Google whatever he was saying there and I was like trying to figure out what to make it play and I was like whatever screw it Anyway, as you can see there's different you can move your seats and same thing It's just like when you move in the lobby you just kind of teleport to whatever seat you want to move to So you kind of you can be as far up as you want to or you can be right there in front of the TV screen or the movie screen And kind of look around I'm looking behind me if you want to move to the somewhere behind you You kind of gotta set it up just like that and just kind of teleport back there Nothing crazy. The little for those who don't have the, the app yet, or even have MetaQuest Three or whatever, and is thinking about it, those little laser points are basically you, your fingers. They're kind of making sure you know where, exactly where you're pointing at. But it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. You can go to the public lobby or back to your, I guess you could say your your private home lobby at any point, no problems. And even and within the public lobby, lobby, all your options are still there. That's a little selfie stick. I try to figure out how to grab it and actually move it around, but I could never figure it out. And I wouldn't, and it wasn't that important. But within the public lobby, all your your, uh, your little tools and whatnot, they're fully they're fully available. And you can see I threw a tomato for no reason because I'm I'm a G like that, and I don't care about people's privacies and what they like to do in the movie theater. And at that point, I think I was messing with the physics of it. It's like, man, it show is a floaty ass tomato. But um, all these things are very, are very much available in both private and public lobbies. The only difference is privacy, just you or whoever you choose to be there with you or public. It's open for anybody and everybody, you know? And then of course, for anyone who's got kids or whatever, you do have parental controls. You can control what 
they are able to watch because these movies are uncensored, baby. So you got to get it how you live. So you, if you want some parental controls on this, if you got kids using this, you want to make sure you go ahead and throw those slap those on there. Um, for the most part, though, man, it's a pretty cool app. If you do not have the big screen beta, knock it off, man. You need to get it. You need to get it. It's a fun app. I enjoyed it. I enjoy it all the time. You know, like sometimes I just turn on and watch YouTube. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the big screen, in the big screen uh, beta mode, in my little, little private house mansion that I don't really own in real life. And uh, this is the one I keep going to. I don't know why I keep going to it. But um, it even has like a little environment where you're inside of a uh, like a um, drive-through. You know, sitting, you're sitting inside of a fake little car and you're looking through the window at the movie screen and there's a whole bunch of other little cars or whatever. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, as far as do I think it's worth it? 100%, man. If you don't have this, man, but you're, you're trying to figure out what, you know, I don't understand how you're watching your media, to be honest with you. Then it get, does have a remote desktop mode where it can connect to your desktop. You just got to download the app and do what it's going to do. I think I was trying to see if that tomato was going to get, you know, cleaned by the little Roomba there. But, you know, you can do that. And that would be kind of a workaround for other, app, other, other services that are not in there like Netflix. But as far as this being an app to get, you need to get it, man. Right? If you like more MetaQuest 3 news, walkthroughs, reviews, lives, like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.